Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to do a performance review of the Dawn issue number 3, Origin Story. This is one of the best colorway right now. I'm proud to say, ito yung disenyo ng Pilipino. So, why not make a performance review? So, let's go. So, this is Doc Chitty and this is the DR Show. What's up? The Dan issue number 3, Origin Story, is a special release from Adidas with special collaboration with Japi Agoncillo. Sino ba si Japi Agoncillo? He is a Filipino illustrator, muralist, and painter. His work is greatly influenced by his love for stories and heroes, stemming from his being brought up on comic books, television, and skateboarding. As you can see, there is uh, dynamic visuals and bold colors uh, used in his work. A few details on the shoes, uh, on the elastic band, meron siyang text na determination over negativity. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng Dawn. On the heel part, meron siyang tiger stripes, which signifies Japi's signature mark and Donovan's middle school. On the insole, meron siyang jazz icons, which pays homage to Donovan Mitchell's uh, Utah Jazz. And on the outsole, there's a map of Elmsford, New York, which is Donovan's home state. And on the left is the map of city of Manila. Ah, yeah, ah, ah, ah. Congratulations, Jape Concilio, for your great work in this sneaker. You made us proud. For the box, we have a Donovan Mitchell's logo on top of it and text issue number 3 on the side. For the traction, meron siyang spiderweb-like traction which is bagay sa moniker niya na Spider Mitchell. As you can see, meron siyang semi-translucent and combination with solid rubber. However, ang problem is there's inconsistency in the traction may chance na nadudulas ako or slip up especially when the shoes picks up dirt there is a smooth heel to toe transition uh, minimal squeaking sa floor and the problem is it easily collects dust or dirt causing the occasional slip ups or pagkadula sa floor for the materials it is made up of full textile upper which is very soft and flexible it has no break in time needed for the materials However, the material is not breathable, so ang ibig sabihin nun, wala siyang ventilation. There are two pieces of rubber on the forefoot, which serves no purpose. Pero sabi nila, this serves as a protection for wear and tear, and for durability purposes. For the support, it has an elastic band over the laces, which serves no purpose. And meron siyang traditional lacing system, which keeps my foot secure and always locked in. Wide or malapad yung kanyang outsole, so it provides stability to the foot. There's a lateral side TPU na nakonek sa midfoot shock plate, which provides lateral stability and support, especially when you're doing hard lateral cuts and quick pull-up jumpers. And also, the midfoot shock plate provides torsional stability to the midfoot. The main problem of the shoes is the heel slippage, so parang may feeling yung paa mo na unsecured, so every time you run and jump, parang mararamdaman mo na natatanggal yung sapatos mo. Even you tied uh, your laces very tight, it's still there. For a size 10.5, ang timbang niya is 436 grams or meron siyang 15.3 ounces. Medyo mabigat siya. For the fitting, it is tight on the midfoot area, 
sa white footers na tulad ko you might choose half to go half size up however medyo maba sya sa harapan and for regular footers go through to size for the cushion it has a full length lightning strike foam which is also used in the dims and hardens it is responsive pero yung setup nya is very firm so it will require break in time so this will provide minimal impact protection and minimal court feel It has a very thin insoles, napaka nipis niya. This will not provide comfortability inside our foot. So what I do to remedy this, I replace it with orthotic insoles to provide the much needed comfortability inside the foot. So that would I would discuss on another episode. For the comfort, it has a medium padding on the heel and ankle area. The tongue is well padded, it is flush and comfortable siya. For the overall rating, I would give a score of 7 over 10. The pros, materials, cushion, and comfort are average. Ang kanya mga cons, major heel slippage, ang problem, quite heavy shoes, stiff ang midsole, and inconsistent uh, traction. The price of these shoes is uh, 5,800 pesos or $110. But if you're willing to spend a little more, of course, there are other options. I recommend these shoes to be used for casual use. Uh, maganda siya pang forma rather than a good and reliable basketball shoes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the performance review of the Dawn issue number 3. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe on this channel. See you on the next one. Uh, yeah. But I'm shitty. 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 But I'm shitty.